Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I have some exciting news. This morning, I just found out that I passed the NHA medical assistant exam. So of course you guys know I had to spill all the details, let you guys know exactly how I did it and what resources I used so that you guys can pass it on your first try as well. By the way, I only studied for one week. Also, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button because I'm gonna be making another video that shares all the questions and topics that were on my exam so you guys can be prepared to know exactly what will be on the exam and you don't waste your time studying for things that won't be on it. It'll also kind of be like an exam review session for you to just review or study topics that you haven't that will be on the exam. Okay, so first let's run through some background and some tips for you guys for the exam. So you can find more information about this on the NHA website, but I'm just going to give the overall gist of how the exam works. So basically there's 180 questions and you have 180 minutes, aka 3 hours, to complete the exam. Now only 150 of those questions are actually scored, so what about the other 30? The other 30 questions are not scored, however, they are CCMA or medical assistant questions. They're not like pre-survey questions or anything like that. But those 30 questions, NHA is basically seeing if those questions are feasible to put on a future exam. So that's why they're including it in the exam to see if how many percentage gets it right versus wrong and if it is a feasible question to add on an exam in the future. So just try to answer the question to the best of your abilities. Don't think too much about the logistics of it. And also the passing rate is a 390 out of 500, which is a 78%. So when you're practicing, aim for 78% or higher on your practice tests. All right, now let's get into the tips. I have three tips for you guys today. So I'm giving you guys these tips so you're able to know exactly how to use the resources that I'm about to give you. All right, the first tip is content review. Content review is a big portion or should be a big portion of your study time. Spend a lot of time focusing on the content, reviewing material that you might have forgotten or just that you had a hard time with. Make sure you're really understanding and grasping the concepts and you're able to explain them in your own words. Make sure that you're giving yourself quite a bit of time for content review so that when you're reviewing right and wrong answers on a practice exam, you know exactly why they're right and why they're wrong and you're able to understand what they mean. All right, tip number two is make sure you're spending a day or two or three for practice exams. Practice is very important so that you're able to understand how the NHA phrases or questions and how you can give the best answer based on your knowledge. And then tip number three, which is my last tip, is basically make sure that you're not only realizing why the right answer is right, but also review the other answer choices that were wrong and make sure you know exactly what they are. So for example, if you have choices A, B, C, and D, and the answer was A, for example, make sure you still understand what terms B, C, and D are. All right, well, that's it for the background and the tips, so let's actually dive into the resources that I used. So first I have the NHA study guide and the NHA practice exam. So I mentioned how important it is to do content review. So what better resources to use than resources made from the test makers themselves? The NHA study guide includes a concise list of 17 topics, all of which will be on the final exam. I personally bought the online version and I would recommend the online version just because it has an audio so it's kind of like an ebook and it can read it to you while you follow along. But it also has interactive questions at the end of each section. And then at the end of each chapter, there's actually quizzes for that chapter. So it's a chapter one quiz all the way to a chapter 17 quiz. And it focuses on questions just based on the topic that you just covered. Through this, I feel like I was able to identify the sections that I weren't as good in and focus on that for my review. Now the con about this is it does get a little bit pricey. I think I paid a total of $80 for both the study guide and the practice exam, but I feel like it was definitely worth it, especially if you need a content review, like just a reminder of what's gonna be on the exam and the descriptions of all the different stuff. But overall, if you can get it, I would definitely recommend that you do. And for the NHA practice, exam you actually get six attempts with the bundle that you buy 
and I highly recommend that you buy this only because it is from the test makers themselves. So they're framing the questions that are going to be on the actual exam. So practicing with questions that are going to be very similar to the ones on the actual exam is very important and it's going to be more beneficial for you. Now these practice exams gives you an idea of how the questions will be formatted on the tests. However, they're not exact replicas of what's going to be on the actual test. So don't just memorize the questions and memorize the answers, but actually take time to learn why the right answer is right and what the question is asking. This is basically your tool to see how NHA actually tests critical thinking because the exam is mainly critical thinking and how you apply the knowledge that you already know. Now, because this can be out of budget for some people, which I totally understand, this is not a necessity. There are still other things that I will list later, um, other resources that you can use to replace this. All right, the second resource that I use are Quizlets. And let me tell you, these came in handy, especially for those of you who don't really wanna purchase the NHA resources. This is a perfectly free, amazing tool that you need to use um, to practice questions, but also just learn different material. So I'm gonna be linking all of the Quizlets that I used and some of them I made down in the description below so make sure that you check those out now if you have a specific topic that you just want to practice more or you just want you know virtual flashcards to practice with you can definitely go into quizlet.com and you can type in that specific topic so for example if you want help with administrative assisting you can type in quizlet ccma administrative assisting questions and there should be a lot of quizlets that pop up all right resource number three that i used is reddit yes reddit thank goodness to the people that decided to make posts on reddit based on what was on their exam you guys are truly lifesavers. I'm gonna be linking down below as well the Reddit that I referred to, um, which literally was a replication of what was on the actual exam. And I highly recommend that you check that one out and study exactly what is on that list. You can also just go into Google and type in CCMA NHA Reddit posts. And there are a lot that pop up and you can just go through and look at what topics were on their exams because if it was on their exams, it's more than likely to be on your exam. All right, resource number four is YouTube. YouTube was the biggest part of my studying and it literally saved my life. I mainly watched medical assisting with Miss K videos where she gives you practice problems that you can work with and then she tells you the right answer and why it was right and then she goes through and explains why the wrong answers were wrong. And then I also referred to another video um, on MA Academy and it was related to EKG and how that works and then basically practice questions for EKGs. So definitely go onto YouTube and type in CCMA practice questions or CCMA EKG practice questions or CCMA phlebotomy practice questions um, because phlebotomy and EKG are one of the biggest sections on this exam. And YouTube has so many practice questions that you can watch the videos, um, do it along, follow along with them. And again, I'm gonna be linking all of these, will be down below, so make sure you check the description for all of the links um, so you can directly access them. All right guys, well that is all of the resources and tips that I have for you guys today. Make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss that new video coming out. That's gonna be the exam review and everything that was on my exam from topics to specific questions to specific terms. I'm gonna be spilling all of that for you guys so that you don't have to study things that won't be on your exam. And here's your reminder guys to be confident when test day comes. You guys have put in the work. Clearly you've shown passion and interest into achieving high on this exam. So I know you guys will pass with flying colors. Well, let me know if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Well, good luck guys and let me know how you do.